Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk in tutoring five days a week. Today we'll review naming of acids and bases. We'll start here with acids. An acid is a molecule with one or more hydrogen ion attached to an anion. So what's important when you're naming acids is to pay attention to the anion. Now your first step here in this uh, bubble up here is does the anion contain oxygen? If it doesn't, you're on the left and you go straight to naming. Uh, you start out with the word or the, the letters here, hydro. You then add in the anion root name and then finish it off with IC. So down here in the bottom, it's hydro plus the root and then IC and then you add the word acid. And we'll have examples on the next page. Uh, I'll show you that. Now if the anion does contain oxygen, then you're on the right. What you're going to have to do next is check the ending of the anion. Is it an I-T-E uh, anion or an A-T-E? A-T-E would be like sulfate or phosphate. I-T-E would be um, sulfite or nitrite. If it's the I-T-E ending, uh, you're going to start with the anion root and then add O-U-S at the end. So as we show here, root plus O-U-S and then the word acid. If the anion is an 8, like sulfate, uh, you're going to start with the root and add IC. So you have root, then IC, and then the word acid. So let me show you some examples on this page. So if you don't have oxygen, first one is uh, HF. So uh, the root here is fluorine. So you got hydrofluoric acid. The next one is uh, HCl, chlorine, so that root is chlor, so you have hydrochloric acid. The same thing with HBr here with uh, bromos, uh, or the brome in the middle, hydrobromic acid. Now if you look here, HCN, CN, uh, you should recognize as cyanide, so it's hydrocyanic acid. And then um, here, H2S, S is your root in this case. It's hydrosulfuric acid. Now, most people will recognize, you see this, everybody calls that generally uh, as hydrogen sulfide. Uh, the trick is that's a slang term, and you'll find that uh, true as you um, leave college, go off into, uh, to work. Uh, uh, there's a lot of slang terms being used or shortcuts, whatever, uh, uh, age old, you know, terms for some uh, chemicals. And so hydrogen sulfide, you'll, you'll see that most commonly. Uh, but officially, the, the name would be hydrosulfuric acid. Now, if we go acids with oxygen, here when I gave some examples, I also listed the anions to help out. So HNO3, the anion here is nitrate, so it ends in A-T-E, so the acid is called nitric acid. HNO2, now you have the nitrite anion, so it's nitrous acid. Uh, similar again, here we have H2SO3, that's the sulfite anion, so it's sulfurous acid. And then you should recognize here, um, that we have the acetate ion. And so since it's A-T-E, it ends with I-C, you have acetic acid. So those are some examples, uh, acids and bases. Now, uh, sorry, of acids. Now for bases, I have down here, this sort of was a trick question I say in red, bases do, uh, do not have any unique naming uh, convention. So essentially ignore that it's a base. You just look at the element, uh, or sorry, the molecule, 
and you name it like you would, uh, whether it's an ionic, covalent, or polyatomic uh, molecule. So, you know, a very common base is sodium hydroxide. And so you, uh, you just name it like you would, uh, in this case with the polyatomic OH, you know, um, sodium hydroxide. Uh, and there's slang terms, you know, that you hear that being called caustic or you have other, other types of bases uh, will have other terms. But uh, officially, you just name it uh, as the conventions under ionic covalent or the polyatomic. Thank you.